College. It can be the greatest four years you will ever experience in your life, but it can also be a painful exercise in despair, cynicism, humiliation, and general suckiness. Which will it be for you? Are the two really mutually exclusive? If you'll just follow these simple instructions, college can be fun and exciting, and not torturous or soul-crushing. This is Mike, a young, naive, innocent freshman. Let's see what he does to completely screw up his college experience. Here, Mike can't remember how to get to the building his class is in. He innocently walks over and asks a girl for help. But what's this? His question seems to have offended her. Was it because he referred to her as sweet cheeks and lusty legs? No, it's because he smells revolting. It's true, he smells quite odious. This is college lesson number one. Sweat does not make you smell good. But how can Mike counteract this upsetting problem? Some people use a revolutionary invention called deodorant to begin to attempt to negate their own inescapable pungency. But this can get expensive, and you're already going to be leaving here $427 trillion in debt. So what's a more practical alternative? A better solution is to recycle the leftovers of something you already use, like low-cost, low-quality noodles. After you've eaten, just use the remaining water and residue to mask your natural stench. Now let's see what happens when Mike once again attempts conversation with the female. Success! The girl is no longer disgusted by the overwhelming and spirit-crushing power of Mike's odor. And the faint aroma of noodles is probably making her hungry. This would be the perfect time to ask her out to dinner while her defenses are down. Another success. You've officially begun your first of many, many meaningless college flings that will inevitably end in major heartbreak. So you've managed to talk to a girl without getting injured. But there's more to college than that. What are you going to do to begin making actual friends? This looks like a bright and friendly young fellow, why not approach him? Looks like that didn't go so well. Why do you suppose that is? Because he was a senior football star and therefore a god among men. You are just a wimpy freshman, and therefore you rank somewhere beneath stable boy. It's not your place to approach him. He is way too important to socialize with the likes of you. This is college lesson number two. Stick to your own kind. Here is how that exchange should have happened. Now you've got the right idea. Remember. Talking to cool people does not make you more cool. It just makes them a little less cool. So, you now know how to disguise your natural repugnance, and you know not to reach past your inescapable social limits. You've had a long and tiring day. Maybe it's time you took a nap. Uh-oh. It looks like your roommate is using your bunk. What should you do? Ooh, that's a big no-no. Never, ever, ever use your roommate's bed, even if he's using yours. In fact, if you find your roommate is sleeping, it's best not to even be in the same room, just in case you might disturb him. This is college rule number three. Respect your roommate's privacy at the expense of your own comfort. If you follow these three rules, you'll know everything you need to know about college, and how not to suck at it. Good night, everyone.